Okay, well, here we go then. Right, you go and have a lie down. Okay. You go and have a lie down. Ah, I want to listen. No, that's the wrong voice. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, get your voices right. They got their supper ready. I don't. Oh! oh, you bad bird. Right. Are we sitting comfortably? Comfortably? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you got your supper? Ooh, no. Daddy's just Ooh, getting it. Oh, supper. Cheese. Oh, I can't. Cheese. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Now. I think Daddy's going to get you crackers once and butter. Up, once, upon a once upon a time, in a far off land, on top of a hill, was a great big castle. And inside that castle was a little Iggy Wiggy man. Look at the little Iggy Wiggy man. <laughs> <laughs> Grampy's oh. made a hybrid. Oh, <laughs> can you see him? Oh, who's that? Is that Freddy? Oh, hello, Bertie. Well, anyway, Iggy lived in a great. Iggy just fell down and hurt his toe. Listen, listen. Hang on, Grampy. Hang on, Grampy. Daddy, sorry. Ah. Right. Here we go. Off we jolly well go on the adventure, okay? Right. So we're in the castle in the top bedroom. And Iggy is practicing cycling because he's going for a long, long cycle ride. He's got to go and find his best mates, Freddy and Bertie and he's got to check with them with their mummy if they can go on an adventure to the secret store of golden goose eggs oh, now these golden goose eggs you don't eat them you sell them they are really really valuable and they are the size of an apple can you see that? They're the size of an apple. Look, this apple is really, really big. Look. See, this is, this is the screen. Isn't that amazing? There we go. Anyway, so Iggy got cycling off, cycling through the woods, along the beach, up a hill, down the dale, through a dirty, muddy pond, which was not really sort of watery, but really dirty and muddy. So by the time he got to Freddy's castle, he was really dirty. So he asked Freddy's mum if he could have a wash. Freddy's mummy said, yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but you'll have to have it in the courtyard. In the courtyard, said Iggy. I want a nice warm bathroom. Oh no, said you can't come in this castle with looking like that. Iggy went, mm, I suppose so. And with that, he went round to the courtyard and Freddy got out the hose pipe. <laughs> and with a great bit of squeal of laughter, Bertie, Bertie grabbed hold of the the watering can and poured it over Iggy's head. Oh. Uh, that was disgusting, said Iggy. I'm all cold, but I am very clean now. Yes, well, we'll have to find you some clean, dry clothes. I know, said Mummy. I'll put them in the in the tumble dryer. And soon, soon as you can say, Bob's your uncle, they'll be dry. Okay, said Iggy. I think it's time for my afternoon kit. Oh yes. <laughs> Freddie said, You haven't got time for a you haven't got time for a, a sleep. We've got to get down to the harbour. Oh uh, but the clothes are all gonna be wet, said Iggy. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Put this big sheet on. Okay. 
Yeah. So Iggy put the big sheet on and he looked a bit like a ghost. Ha! Looked like a ghost. What'd you say to that, Bert? Is it a good story so far? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Now, can you can you can you can you go on the scooter, Bertie? Can you go? Can you go on your scooter, Freddie? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll have to carry you. Iggy will have to carry you. So off. On the bike to Okay. Thank you very much for that, Bertie. Right. <laughs> so off we went down to the seaside looking for a boat to take us to the secret island and there in the distance was Ua. yes exactly so freddy shouts to Ua. It's Ua. <laughs> Ua. And Ua. hold on Character is it, Fred? Let's see. He's a pirate. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Who are? Says, hello. I say, we want to go to the secret island. Will you take us? Ooh, I don't know. I'm not so sure I can take you today. Oh, please, said Freddy. Please take us to the island. Okay, I will. Jump aboard. With that, Freddie and Bertie and Iggy jumped on board the boat and Ua said, Oi, you got to raise the sails, pull up the anchor and scrub the decks. Bertie, will you scrub the decks? No, said Bertie. Freddie, will you pull up the anchor? Yeah. Thank you, Bertie. Off we go then. And with that, they, the boats, Fred, Freddie pulled up the anchor and then he hoisted the sails and the boat drifted off to sea and it picked up speed and then they saw a shark. Uar said, oh, we got to do a bit of shark fishing here. And with that, he pulled down the sails, threw at the rod out and tried to catch a shark. But the shark was too crafty. However, however, it did pull the boat through the water. So with that, they went even faster. The shark was pulling the boat. Freddie was on the tiller steering the boat. Iggy was lying down asleep because he hadn't had a sleep today. Bertie was just eating crisps. That's you scrubbing the deck, aren't you, Bert? Were you scrubbing the deck, Bertie? Well done, Bertie. Anyway, they, the island loomed into sight. And uh, what's your name? Uar said, I think we should let the shark go. Yes, said Iggy. And with that, they let the shark go and they dropped the anchor. Drop the anchor, Freddy. With that, they dropped the anchor. Right, let's go ashore. You, you can't. You can't come, you can't come, uh, uh, Uar. You've got to stay on board, have you? Have I? That's not her. That's not her at all. Anyway, with that, Freddie, Bertie and Iggy jumped into the little rowing boat and Iggy rowed ashore. <laughs> they pulled up onto the sandy beach and they crept very, very slowly towards the cave where they knew that Iggy knew. Iggy, Iggy, hello, Iggy, said, we got to go into the cave. We got to be very, very quiet. But Freddy, you got to sneak in very quietly and grab. One for Iggy, I mean, sorry. One for Iggy, one for Bertie, and one for you. Okay, said Freddy. And Freddy jumped into the cart, and Iggy gave a great big push, and they washed down the hill, 
and then up the hill, then down the hill, and they came to a gentle stop in the cave. But the cave was full of grass. Ooh, said Freddy. I'm a bit worried about the grass because the grass was moving. Very, very, and it was full of snakes. <gasps> the snakes were going up and down. And they were guarding the goose so you couldn't get the. Uh, so Freddy said to uh, Iggy, how are we going to get them? Ah, said Iggy, I'll have to think about this. So Iggy sneaked to shore, sneaked around the corner. And found a snake eating monster. And the snake eating monster had all the snakes. And with that, Freddy was able to sneak across the floor, put his hand underneath the goose. How many eggs has he got to get? Three, that's right. And he sneaked out. But just as he got to the edge of the cave, the goose woke up. And he saw Bertie. And Bertie's very tiny and he couldn't run very fast. But Bertie, for Freddy, rescued him by hitting the goose on the nose with a stick. And the poor old goose went. <laughs> and Freddy and Bertie ran out of the cave. Iggy was a bit slower. He was running after Freddy. Come on, said Freddy. Come on, Iggy. Faster, faster. And with that, they jump back in the rowing boat. And Iggy starts rowing like mad. And then a dragon came. A dragon came across. Oh, my goodness me. And he missed. Where did that dragon come, said Freddy? I've never seen that one in this story before. I know, Iggy said. I've just invented him. With that, but they managed to get to yeah, what's the dragon? Uar's boat. Oh, Uar's. Uar said, Come on, lads, get the grip. And with that, Freddy, hoist the sails. Bertie, pull up the, the anchor. And with that, the boat sailed off back to the shore. Freddy jumps out, runs to the market, sells the eggs, and gives all the money to Mummy. And Mummy buys, buys 25 chocolate eggs. Oh, yes, Mummy gets all the money. 25 chocolate eggs. Yeah. And then ah. he eats it all. And then. Iggy said, I've got an idea. Why don't we have an egg eating competition? Freddy says, <laughs> Freddy said, I don't like eggs. Aha. So with that, Iggy said, I know, you throw them and I'll see if I can catch them. And with that, Freddy threw the egg. <coughs> oh, that, oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you see that? Whoa, thank you. That was very good. And so, Freddy, so Iggy ate the egg. Oh, <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you, Freddy. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for doing it, Grumpy Fred. No. Was, that, was that fun? That was great. Really, yes, really it was loved Freddy. it. <laughs> was it? Did you like the story, Bertie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Grumpy. Well, we don't have to say bye just yet. We can say hello a little bit longer. So, Grumpy, yeah, what are you having as your supper now? Well, I've got to be very careful because I'm on a diet, you see. So I'm not allowed to eat too much. Hello, Bertie. Can we have a kiss? Thank you very much.
Sunday bus. They're having bur they're having grumpy crackers as supper, aren't you? Are you? Grumpy crackers are grumpy. These. Go look, grumpy. Oh, these are. Oh. This is what we call grumpy crackers. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Pass you one, Grampy. You ready? Grampy, Mummy's gonna pass you one. Oh, thank you. Very, it's turned into a bit of cucumber. I <laughs> <laughs> no, see that. Look, it turned into a cucumber. Oh, thank you. That's Freddie. That's Freddie's other favourite thing to eat, isn't it, cucumber? Mm -hmm. So, how have you been then, Grampy? Always oh, passing you another one. Look, there we oh, go. I'm gonna pass you one. Oh, he's turned into a bit of cheese this time. 